Good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's so good to see you all this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, I want to thank you all for praying. Um, I just, I have news that some of you all know of, I guess some of you don't know if you um, aren't on the prayer line um, or the prayer team. We've been praying for a young lady. Her name is Tashanta. Um, her mom calls her TT. She was very close friends with our son Darius. And um, she was shot in the neck um, a few days ago. And um, they declared her brain dead last night. Um, but I will tell you, I'm just crazy enough to believe that God can still do anything. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to believe God until he says differently. He hadn't told me anything different, so I'm just going to be crazy. I think Minister Tom said radical, or no, that's not the word he used, reckless. I'm just going to be reckless enough to believe and have reckless faith to believe that God is going to do what he's declaring, what we're believing him for. Amen? So keep that family in prayer regardless. In spite of what we are seeing, in spite of what we're hearing, I know what the doctors have said. I know what the trauma doctor said this morning. I know what the machines have said. But I have believed God for some crazy things. And I've seen him do some crazy things. And so we're just going to believe him until he says differently. And when he says it's over, then I'm going to believe it's over. But until he says that, then, you know, we're going to keep on believing. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is God. He is a big God. He is a great God. He is a mighty God. He's the God that I trust. He's the God that I lean on. He's the God that I need. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise your name, O oh God. Praise your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Y'all awake this morning? Y'all good this morning? Y'all great? All right. All right. I'm going to tell y'all when I was talking to Pastor yesterday, um, and he was saying, hey, you know, can you can you minister this morning? I was like, mm. <laughs> y'all know how y'all do. I call you and say, can you teach? And y'all like, mm. He did that to me yesterday. And I said, mm. But we're going to go in. I, I can tell you right now, this is not going to be an exegesis. So for those of you all that are philosophical and theological and you need to have the word broken down, this is not what that is today. All right, so those to you on Zoom and Facebook, online, those of you in here, if you need a deep philosophical word, talk to Pastor afterwards. That is not what this is today. I am here to come for those who have been discouraged. I'm here to come for those who have been feeling disconnected, for those who are feeling like they just can't seem to, to become a part of anything, whether that's a part of this or a part of something else. I'm coming for those who are feeling like they are lonely, that they're all alone and that they're all by themselves. I'm coming for you, those of us who have been feeling like everybody else has got it together, those that we're looking on Facebook and seeing everybody that's doing all these great and gr wonderful things and they got the business started, they got the ministry started, they got the friends, they got the family, they got all of this stuff, and then we're feeling like we're left out. We're feeling like we're not the ones that are getting what they're getting. What's wrong with us? What's, what's going on in our lives that we prayed hard and we fasted hard and we've sung and we've worshiped and we've danced and we've genderflected or whatever you want to call it that you have done, but we are still feeling down and out. So I'm coming for you today. If you can turn to 1 Peter chapter 5, 1 Peter chapter 5, and I can't tell you that this scripture really has a lot to do with what I've been sensing when I began to pray this morning about what the Lord was saying. I just, the scripture is the one that just kept coming to mind. And Pastor and I were talking about some scriptures this morning. They were good. They were really, really good. And I'm going to probably go into a few of those. But 1 Peter 5, you all stand when you have it, please. 1 Peter chapter number 5. And we're going to be 
in verse number seven and a little bit further in. All right, so 1 Peter 5, cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ, after you have suffered a while, he'll perfect, he'll establish, he'll strengthen, and he'll settle you. Lord God, we just bless your name today. We praise your name. God, I don't know what you're doing this morning, but right now I ask, Lord God, that I decrease, that you may increase. Father God, I pray that you be the mouthpiece on today, Father God. I open my mouth, Father God, but I pray that they hear you and only you. I pray, God, that this word comes straight from the throne room, Lord God. I pray, God, that this word will build up and encourage and strengthen, oh God. I pray, Father God, that whatever you are going to tell us on today, today, Father God, no matter how long or how short it may be, God, that you will be God on this morning, Father God. Break through in this place today, God. Come on now, Jehovah Perizim. Break through today, Father God. Break through today, Father God. Break through today in the name of Jesus. Oh God, have your way on today, Father God. God, move on today, Father God. Break, break, break. Break, 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 break right now. In the name of Jesus, oh, Father God, move in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 breakthrough today, God. God, we need you to shatter some things in our lives today, God. We need you, Father God, to come through just like you did, Jehovah Perizim, in Samuel, Father God, where your word says that you broke through like a mighty rushing water, God. We need you on today, Father God, because some of us, oh God, we're discouraged, oh God. Some of us, oh God, we feel disconnected, oh God. Some of us, oh God, we feel like we are far away. But Lord God, right now, I pray now that you come and that you move in this place on today, Father God. You told us, God, to cast our cares upon you, Father God, and that we will do, God. Lord God, we'll lay discouragement at the foot of the cross, oh God. Lord God, we'll lay discontentment at the foot of the cross, oh God. Lord, we'll lay loneliness at the foot of the cross, oh God. Lord, we'll lay everything that we're feeling, God, at the foot of your cross, oh God, because it's by your cross, oh God, that we can be free, God. It's by your cross, oh God, that we can be whole, oh God. Oh, Lord God, it is by you and only you. You told us to cast our cares upon you, O God. And that's what we'll do, Lord. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray for those who are grieving even still right now, God, deep within their soul, God. I pray, God, oh, God, over those, Lord God, who are feeling grieved in their spirit, oh, God. I pray right now, God, who have lost loved ones, oh, God. Oh, Wrap your loving arms around them.
them, Father God. Lord God, you told us to resist the enemy, Lord God. Resist the adversary, Father God. Lord God, you told us, Lord, that if we stand firm in the faith, oh God, that you would be our front and our rear guard. So right now, God, I pray, Lord God, I pray over those, Lord God, that the enemy has tried to sift like wheat, just as you tried to do with Peter, God. Oh, but Jesus said, I prayed for you. And the Lord is saying, we are praying even right now. We're standing in the gap for you on his behalf. We're standing in the gap for you. We'll stand firm in who we are, God. Just like David, Father God, when he saw an army come against him, Father God, and the army took everything that he had. The army took his wives. The army took his children. The army took everything that he had. And when he was down and out, he said, I have to encourage myself in the Lord. I've got to encourage myself in the Lord. This morning we've been saying the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy, the joy, the joy of the Lord is our strength. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Not what we see, not what we hear, but the joy of the Lord is our strength. I know that some of you, you may not be feeling that way. And that's okay. I'm going to need you to intercede on behalf of those who are. I need you right now. You may not need this word because you're good to go. You're straight. You got it all together. You got your ministry where you want it to be. You got your relationship with the Lord where you want it to be. You have everything that's in the way that you think it should be. I need you to pray for those of us who are still dealing with some things in our lives. I need you to intercede on on our behalf. I need you to get on your knees and go before the Lord and cry out for us because we need God. We need him. 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 <laughs> James tells us to submit ourselves to the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee. So for those who are feeling these different ways, know that you can submit yourself to God. Submit yourself to him. Submit yourself to the word of the Lord. Trust and believe him. Know what the word has said. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. That means don't lean on how you feel. Don't lean on what they said. Don't lean on what you're thinking. But he said to trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. And in all of your ways, every single way, every single thing that you're dealing with in the discouragement, in the good times, in the bad times, in every single way, every single way, every which way you may go, he'll direct you. He'll show you. He'll give you the peace that you need. He will, he will excuse me, he'll be your front and your rear guard. Oh, I want to, oh God, I want to really preach Psalms 23. But the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. That means when you are down and out. That means when you are empty. That means when you got nothing else. That means when you can't stand anymore. It even means when you can't sit anymore. You can't go any lower than where you already are. He restores your soul. He fills you up. He fills you up to overflow. He fills you up till you're pouring out. He fills you up till you're encouraging not just yourself, but other people who are around you. He will restore your soul. Yeah. 
Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Death cannot just be physical. Death could be some things that you're allowing to die in your life, things that have gone to, to, to die, things that are deserted, things that are withered and dried up, things that seem to be crusty, things when you look at it, it's just all brown and there's no life in it. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the shadow of death, the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. The shadow, that means it's not really dead. It's a shadow. It's just what you may see. It's, it's casting over here, but it's not dead. You are not dead. You are alive in Christ. That's what the word says. You are alive. No matter no matter, no matter, no matter, no matter what you may be feeling, no matter what your bones are telling you, Mike, no matter what you're feeling, no matter what, you still have life in you. As long as you have breath in your body, you still have life. And God is expecting you to cry out to him, to call out to him. And like David said, encourage yourself in the Lord. Who, Father. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I don't know what else I got. So I'm going to do this. <sighs> There's a song. Songs always, songs always speak what I'm really feeling and I can't get it out. So I love worship so much because in worship, I'm able to say and sing and belt and croak. what I'm really, really feeling on the inside. And for those of you, I want you to listen to these words and then Minister Tom's gonna probably play it because you all know I'm not gonna sing it. Listen to this. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry. Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Because shame's doing all it's stealing. And you're desperate for some healing. <laughs> Let me tell you about my Jesus. He'll make a way where there ain't no way. Oh, I forgot the words already. He rises up from an empty grave. Ain't no sinner that he can't save. Let me tell you about my Jesus. His love is strong and his grace is free. And the good news is I know that he can do for you what he's done for me. Let me tell you about my Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Cause shame's done all it's stealing And you're desperate for some healing Let me tell you about my Jesus Why don't y'all stand up? He makes a way where there ain't no way Rises up from an empty grave Ain't no sinner that he can save Let me tell you about my Jesus His love's strong
the price for all my guilty who would care that much about me let me tell you about my jesus oh he makes a way where there ain't no way rises up Hallelujah. So for those of you that may be dealing with some things that are going on in your life, we want to pray with you. We want to pray for you and we want to stand in the gap with you. So if you want prayer, then we want you to come forward. You can raise your hand. You can do whatever you feel like you need to do. But we want to make sure that we are giving you the opportunity to pray with us or us to pray with you or us to pray over you because there are many, 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 many of us who have been dealing with some areas in our life. I remember I was just telling Pastor, I was like, I had to get off Facebook for a minute because there are so many people doing so much. And I'm sitting here like, well, um, I need to, well, I should have, no. I had to encourage myself in the Lord, and I had to go before him, and I had to recognize, one, I am who Christ says I am, not what other people are doing, not what everybody else is saying. I've got to go and hear what the word has to say. And so for those of you that are dealing with anything that is from discouragement, that is from disconnected, that is feeling like you are down and out, like you are far away from things, like you can't seem to get yourself together, whatever it is, we want to pray with you. We want to pray for you. Those who are online, for those of you who are online, I'm going to pray for you right now. Lord, we come right now, Father God, praying for those who are behind a camera, Lord God, behind a computer, Father God, behind a phone, Father God. I pray, Lord, right now, Lord God, those who are dealing with some deep, 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 issues, Lord God, whether it is a disappointment of some sort, God, whether it is depression of some sort, Father God, whether it's discontentment of some sort, Father God, whether it's discouragement, Lord God, I pray right now over those who are online, also, God, those who are in this place. Father, I pray now that you would encourage them, Lord God. Holy Spirit, come to them, Father. Holy Spirit, come. Wrap your arms arms around them right now and show them, Lord God, that you are right there. Regardless of how they may feel, regardless of what they may be thinking, regardless of how the enemy has been attacking their mind and making them to believe that they aren't who you have called them to be because he is the adversary. He is going around as the accuser of the brethren. But Lord God, we know that you have called us, Lord God, as it says in verse 10, that you have called us by Jesus Christ. God, you called us as your own, Lord God. We are your children, oh God. We are the king's kids. We're a royal priesthood. We're a holy nation. God, we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. God, you said who we are, God, and we will be who you have called us to be. And so even though the enemy may try to plant lies, even though the enemy may try to plant doubt, 
Even though the enemy may continue to come and try to sift them as weak, God, to try to pull them away, God, to try to isolate them, Lord God, to try to pull them into a corner where they're all by themselves. Lord God, we are praying now, God. We're choosing to intercede on behalf of those who feel like they're in a cage, who feel like they're backed into a corner, who feel like they're all alone and that nobody cares. Lord God, I speak life into those, Lord God. God who are depressed. I speak a life right now, God, into those who have suicidal thoughts. I speak a life now into those, Lord God, who are sad and weary. God, I speak a life now, Lord God, that your life, God, your Zoe kind of life, oh God, the kind of life, oh God, oh Lord God, that goes after you with everything they got. Lord, I speak a life into them now, into the name of Jesus. God, and I pray, Father, for those who are feeling empty, those who are feeling drained, those who are feeling like they got nothing else, those who are feeling like they're weary. God, I pray now, God, that you would fill them up with you, God. Build them up in their most holy faith. God, encourage them even on today, Lord God. Move, Father God, on their behalf. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, God. 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 Who Jesus. Ah. Lord, I pray even right now, God, for those who do not know you, God, or they've even pulled away themselves from you, Father God. They've backslidden away from you, Father God, that they've turned even their back on you, Father God. I pray right now, God, that you, Lord God, you draw them continually to you, Father God, and that they're receptive to you, Lord. I pray right now over those who either are in this place or online that don't know who Jesus is. They don't know what we were just singing about. When we said, let me tell you about my Jesus, and people were getting excited because they recognized what he's done and who he is, you may not recognize that, or you may feel so far removed. You may have once, you may have once known but you've forgotten. Such a distant memory. If you want to be saved, if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, if you want to rededicate your life back to Christ, the one that heals, the one that delivers, the one that sets free, the one who can be right beside you no matter what you're going through. Then we want to pray with you. 
You can raise your hand. Someone can come to you. You can come to the front. If you're online, you can put something in the chat. You can, I think you can send a private chat of some sort. Let us know. We want to pray with you. We don't only want to pray with you. We want to help disciple you. We want to help you grow in the Lord. We want to help you where you're able to feel the joy that we have. We want you to know who God is. For those of you who have never been baptized in the Holy Spirit, or you may have been baptized in the Holy Spirit, but you need a fresh and filling. We want to pray with you. So I encourage you to raise your hand or come forward whichever way. If you're online, you're welcome to leave a comment or reach out to us privately. God is, God is getting this right, you all. And he's dealing with every aspect of what we may be going through. As we're preparing for this tent meeting slash tent revival slash thousands of people, slash salvations beyond measure, slash the churches coming together, slash re-life, revitalization, resurrection power, slash hashtag, whatever else we can put up there. God is getting us right. And he wants us to know that he cares enough about what we're dealing with, that he sees you, and that he knows What you're dealing with may not be the same as what someone else is dealing with. But we're all dealing with something. And so because of that, there's no one that has arrived to any stature that we can't be humble enough to talk with, to pray with, to listen to, to encourage. So I want to encourage each and every person I want to encourage you to go hard after God. And as you do, oh my God, he will meet you and he will go harder after you than you could ever imagine. And the enemy, he's coming for you too. But the word tells us to submit ourselves to God. And as we do, we resist the enemy. We resist him by standing firm. We resist him by living for God. We resist him by declaring the scriptures. Amen? Amen. Are you coming up? Hallelujah. Mom, can you? Well, go ahead. Go ahead. This morning, um, I want us to do one more thing before we close, before I give the, the benediction and the prayer. I'm still your favorite son-in-law, right? Okay. Yeah. I'm the only one right now, so I'm willing to share the title, though, but This morning I saw something. I don't know what it is, but I can't shake the the feeling. I can't shake the look. This morning, um, I want to pray for somebody real quick. This morning when I was in the hospital. I felt a look of two women um, in the hospital. and um, I've seen that look before. I saw the look of a mom and another family member who was fighting to hold it in the road. They, they were just really fighting. They were fighting and they were summoning everything they could to be strong. They were believing God, yet fighting their fears and looking at their worst nightmare. And to be honest with you, I leaned over and I prayed and I talked to her and I told the young lady I'm going to rebuke the enemy as long
long enough, but I want you to talk to God. I know you can hear me. I, no matter what they say, I know you can talk to God. But I'm going to rebuke the enemy. I want you to talk to him or whatever you decide. You know, um, but the look on her mom's face, it just, I can see her trying to find strength. And so if you don't mind, I just want to pray for her and for her family real quick. Just that God would strengthen you. That God would just strengthen you. Can you do that for a second? I just want to pray because I, 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 I've seen those looks before of confusion and trying to find faith in the whole thing and believing God of playing scripture and, and, and songs and the ears of your loved, one, loved ones and but just believing God. And so if you don't mind, I want us to, I don't know what we're going to do, but if, if you can just believe God for strength for her. If you can believe God for the strength for her. If you can believe God that God will do what he said he's going to do. If you can just believe God that he'll give her strength that she knows not her own. Can we just pray that real quick? Can we just begin to lift her up in prayer? Father, we thank you, God. Mom, do you mind? Do you mind praying? I think they called her. Um, and sometimes we are praying for things and we don't see God move, so we think God didn't hear us. But it's not up to us. It's up to God to have his way. Whatever his perfect will is, that's what we want to believe for. We don't know what that is, and we don't even know what that looks like. I do know what that feels like when um, something this traumatic happens in, in a person's life and you don't know what to do. You trust in God, and you're trying to be strong, and you're trying to do all the churchy things. But guess what? You are still human. And we have to realize we can't make those changes in ourselves. God has to make them. But we don't give up until God gives up. God, give, When we give up is when the person has their last breath. But until the last breath is taken, we're still going to pray and, and see God because we don't know what God wants to do. God may want to do a miracle, and we know that he can do all things. So we're going to pray for the mom, and we're going to pray for the family, and we're going to pray that God will move upon T.T.'s life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord God. Lord God, like our life depended upon it, oh God. You called us to pray, God. You called us to seek you. You called us to believe you God Lord if we don't believe for miracles who's gonna believe you to do it oh God and Lord God we're asking you today God rent the heavens and come down Lord rent the heavens and do what only you can do God where well, even the doctors will have to turn their head and say look what the Lord has done look what the Lord has done the doctors have done all they know how to do God their abilities are limitless, oh God, but your ability is not limited, oh God, to what man see or what man thinks or whatever it is, God. You told me, God, as I stood there to believe you, oh God, to believe you to do the impossible, God. Lord, let this young lady's life not be in vain, oh God. Let those around them be able to believe and trust you, God. How are they going to believe God unless they see you move, oh God? Unless they see you do something that's impossible to do, God. We know, God, when they say your brain is dead. But God, you created the brain. <laughs> you created our body. You created us, God. And you know everything about us. Lord, we don't know how you're going to move. We don't know what you're doing in Titi's life as she's lying in that bed, oh God, when they have given up. We won't give up, Lord, until you say give up, oh God. If you don't tell us to stop praying, we're going to pray and we're going to believe you that something good is coming out of this, oh God. Lord, you have the power. You raised your son from the dead. You have the power. You raised uh, Lazarus from the dead, oh God. You have the power to raise T.T. up, oh God. We're not going to stop praying. We're not going to shut up. But we're going to stand and believe the word of God. It's time the church come forth and believe you, God, for the supernatural. Lord, this mother, God, 
oh God, our hearts go out to this mother and this family, Lord. God, show yourself strong to them. Wrap your arms around them, God. Let them feel the peace of God that surpasses our understanding. Our natural mind cannot conceive what you want to do, God. Oh, God, I'm asking you, oh, God, this day, Lord, this day, God, whether you choose to heal her or take her home and heal her, God, that's up to you. But we're not going to stop believing you to heal her on earth, oh, God, where everybody around her was saying, this is God. This cannot be anybody else. God, you can cause that machine, oh God, to stop functioning her. And her brain and her heart will live again, oh God. God, we're going to believe you for that. Oh God, my heart breaks for the family, God. When you stand around and you're believing, and you're believing, and you're believing, God. God, do it, Lord. Do it in our day, God, where we see the miraculous God, where we see the healed, the sick being made whole, where we see something that's dead come back to life. That's the God that we serve. And God, we're not going to stop. We're not going to stop praying for this young lady. We're not going to give up until you take her last breath, whether it's this week or 20 years from now, 100 years. We're going to believe you until you do that. Strengthen our family, God. Strengthen her family, strengthen the friends, oh God, around them. Strengthen them, God. Build them up, oh God. Encourage them in the Lord. Oh God, I love you, and we love you, and we're going to trust you, God, for those impossible things, for those things that nobody else can do, God, but you, Lord. Let there be a but God moment. But God did this. But God said this. But God... Oh, God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you that you are real. You're not playing, and we're not playing with you, God. We're going to trust you, God, and we're going to believe you, God, to heal. So many, I, I felt the hurt. So many people are hurting over this. Let them not get angry, God, and, and do all the things, oh, God, but let them come to you and bow down. And just bow down and just begin to worship you. Just begin to tell you how great you are. And watch you do the impossible, God. Lord, we're believing you. And we're trusting you, God, with our, with our life. We're trusting you, God, to do some impossible things over these next days and weeks and months to come. And we're not going to give up on you, Lord, because you didn't give up on us. We love you, Lord, and we honor you, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, God. God, you, God, you had the final word, God. The songwriter says you're the infinite, the ultimate, and we trust you, God. God, we thank you, God, for being our God. We thank you, God, for being alive. We thank you, God, for being quick and sharper than any two edges. So, God, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, that your word does stand settled forever in heaven. And so, God, we believe you, God. We believe you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, God. We thank you, Father. I speak peace. God, we honor you on today, God. We love you, God. We love you, Lord. We love you, God. When our back's up against the wall, God, we thank you, God. We honor you, God. You made a way, God. You made a way, God. And so, Father, I pray that you would bless your people, God. Father, I thank you, God, that 
They'll be blessed in the field. They'll be blessed in the city. I pray, God, that you would bless their coming in and their going out. I pray, God, the blessing of Abraham over them, God. I pray, God, the covenant, Father, that you have for them, God. I thank you, God, that you'll keep them in perfect peace while their mind is stayed on you. God, I thank you, God, that our enemies will come at us one way but flee in faith. I thank you, God, that they have another choice, that they can get a revelation of who you are and be our friends and worship with them. God, I thank you, God, that you're our healer. I thank you, God, that you're our provider, you're our truth. I thank you, God, that you are concerned about us and that your banner over us is love. And so, I, God, I pray over every person in this room that you would fill their hearts and fill their minds and fill every circumstance they have with your presence. So, God, we bless you. We praise you, Father, that you are, will grab their attention, Father. Father, there are several people who are going through things on this week, Father, that I pray, God, that you would, like Paul, on Damascus Road, Father. I pray, to God, that you would get his attention, Father, get her attention, Father, and change their destiny. And so, God, we honor you on today, God. We lift you up. We magnify your name. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. Listen, I want you to enjoy the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and go in peace. Enjoy the favor of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Knowing that our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Amen. Amen.